Yep. Not that much time either. So the uh, motion sickness is definitely kicking in today. Um, we were ro rocking really bad, like on the water, and I took my drop of me, and it made me sick. So now that's not really good. I feel a little better um, now, but it wasn't a great morning. Um, also, I probably sound super congested. If I sound sick, that's because I am. Um, it also feels kind of cold. Like we're walking towards outside and it feels a little bit chilly. Oh, it's like windy. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. All right, well, we're gonna go figure out what we're doing and we'll talk in a little bit. My breakfast literally consists of oatmeal yeah. and all potatoes. Delicious and nutritious. But on a break note, look at the sea. How beautiful. Definitely feel it rocking though. Look. So they told us to write down some questions. We have this question that says, you're one of my biggest inspirations, so it's hard to think of just one question to ask you. If you were in this situation, what would you ask your biggest inspiration? That's the first one. And then the second one that I wrote down was, I really enjoy putting ketchup on my pancakes. Is there any weird food combination you enjoy? So hopefully he picks that one out of the bunch and answers. Uh, but yeah, so we're really excited. They just got us lined up to get ready to go in. It is 11.22. They let us in at 11.30. So I'm excited. You excited? You excited? <laughs> Stop looking at yourself. <laughs> We're here at Traffic Camp. All right, okay, here we go. Hello, hello. I have to go. Bye. Bye. How's it going, folks? You guys feeling good? All right, so Casey just came out and talked to us for a little bit. That's why we had to cut it real quick. to watch the show but Murr decides to just join the audience. I don't know where he is. <laughs> He's back there somewhere. Alright, traffic cam is over. Now we're waiting to watch the podcast. But why am I not focused? Focus on me. Focus on me. Focus. Whatever. We'll talk later, I guess, since my camera wants to be stupid. We just met Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. We just met Q Q Q Q Q. He was so nice. We were at the podcast, the Impractical Jokers podcast, and Q was there. 
and he took pictures with us after the show. I just had to walk up two flights of steps and now I'm out of breath. Whew. Oh, did I tell you guys? I forget. We got the swimming with pigs excursion. I am so excited. It was sold out when we got here, so they had to put us on a waiting list. And I went back up to the room today to um, grab something and our swimming with pigs tickets were there. I'm so excited. I truly look like a conductor. Like I had to start sweeping as soon as I was about to sing. Oh my god, I gotta catch up on my sweater. Look on your thing. Tell me why I am at the buffet. Joey Fatone is here. Tell me why Joey Fatone is here at the buffet. Tell me why. Jiggy is also here walking all around. I swear he's everywhere at the same time. Okay. No. I was about to say. Oh, and yes. I did just sing a Backstreet Boys song while talking about Joey Fatone and Sing. Don't judge me. Taylor's probably judging me. Are you judging me? Hey, give me my drink back. <laughs> Taylor's always judging me, so don't let his lies fool you. Let me get a little bit sour. Did I tell you guys we met Q today? I think I told you we met. Brian Quinn of the hit show Impractical Jokers. He told me he liked my outfit. So. <laughs> Truly a mess. You're crying. I'm, you I'm literally crying. Okay, so I just told Chandler the story about this time. Well, First of, all, first of all, it took you 12 <laughs> minutes to go inside. First of all, I told him how being surrounded by comedians inspires me to want to be a comedian. And I'm looking straight in the camera and said it with a straight face. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I told him about the time we were driving to Texas and I was getting into like comedy, like hardcore at the time. And so I would like fall asleep watching comedy specials the whole trip. And I woke up one morning and I had this joke written in my like notes on my phone. I had no idea that I wrote it. Like I didn't recall writing it, but I read it and it said, because I right, for a little bit of context, I don't like explaining my own jokes, but <laughs> for a little bit of context, you know how Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie had a lot of kids? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say popped out about a lot of kids, but I think they only had like one or two that yeah, were adopted or not. Yeah. Um, oh, where'd I go? Sorry, I just set up the chime hug that I feel like holding it. Um, so my joke was, there's a new statistic. Nine out of ten moms. <laughs> <laughs> is Angelina Jolie? <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, did I tell you guys we met you today? There's <laughs> <laughs> a new statistic out. How did ten miles on Angelina Jolie's? No, it's not plural. It's not Jolie's. Oh my God, she he just butchered my whole joke. Like that's that was my whole hour stand up. I went to Texas in 2014. That's the only joke. Yeah, that's the only joke I wrote. That it took me good. it took me five years to to come up with my 10 second hey. part of my hour. So <laughs> <laughs> now back to Michelle at the booth side of the table. <laughs> Did you get it? You know how you say like, now back to him at the booth. But like, I'm at the booth side of the table. Get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Is that joke too? Yeah. Guys, we saw Joey Fatone today. I talked to Joey Fatone. I was, in his, I was in his way, I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said it's alright. That means you met him. <laughs> Michelle thinks meeting 
someone is in the presence of someone. Okay, no, but there's like a... She said we met Denzel Washington because he walked right across our face. Yeah, that, we met him. We he didn't say nothing, us. we didn't have a conversation with him. You didn't have, okay, so mute people never meet anyone. People that can't speak never meet anyone because they never had a conversation with them. Yeah, if you went up to them, it was like, hey, but if they walked by me, I'm oh, okay, say a I mute person them. just said, hey. No, I'm just saying, like, you whispered it doesn't I'm make it <laughs> the way they, they are. I was saying, like a handshake, like acknowledgement. He, there was no acknowledgement to yes, it. Yes, it was. He How? looked at me. He didn't look at you. Yes, he looked at me. He didn't look at you. That's how Washington looked at me. Yes, he did. <laughs> and so did. So, but, so, 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 so if um, if, if someone's walking by, and they go, so you're going to. So you're telling me, you're telling me they walk by. Look at you. Just look at you like this, and they keep walking. That's 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 meeting them. So you gonna tell me that that person sitting at that table? I didn't meet. How did you meet them? They're literally right there. How did you meet them though? Do you know what a meeting is? There's, it's a meeting different. is meeting with people. Yeah, there's a Washington like I met him. He looked at me. <laughs> you can't explain this. You didn't meet him. Think of it as going to so a you meeting. Don't tell me me saying sorry to Joey Fatone and him saying it's okay is not me meeting him. Us exchanging a conversation is not us meeting. <laughs> So if I see him later tonight, I'm gonna <laughs> He's like, I'm, he's like, is that okay? Yeah. That's okay. He's like, sorry. Would she even say I'm sorry, Sarah? Because I was in his way. I'm waiting for oh, my veggie Oh, you were like, burger. oh my gosh, it's Mr. Fatone. I'm in your way. No, I was waiting for my veggie burger. I was in every single human being standing in the vicinity's way. Because the veggie burger took 17 years to cook. And he cooked them one at a time, even though there was a whole grill open. Don't get me started on the veggie burger. So wait, hold up. So you're telling me later today, if I see Joey Fatone again, and I go up to him and I say, hello, Joey, Mr. F Mr. Fat One. Um, Mr. Fat One. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you for the first time because earlier today I did not meet you even though we said sorry and it's okay. No. I did meet him. This doesn't like, this hat is like kind of big. Someone recognized us today from our vlog channel. She said, are you Michelle and Conrad? <laughs> I'm so disrespectful because I'm more famous than they give me credit for. She was so nice, for real, for real. For real, they give it. They don't. They she gave me no credit. She gave all, me no credit. All just aside, she said because she saw our video about when I gave Chandler the cruise with like the balloons where you had to pop each balloon, and she said it was a really cute idea. But seriously, she was so sweet. Look at this. Look at the shirt I bought. Impractical Joker. This? I thought impractical was spelled wrong. I thought there was too many C's. Too many C's? Impractical Jokers. With the tenderloins. How many C's thought there were? I just thought there was too many on this shirt. It smells like a new shirt. I was, uh, I was gonna say maybe you saw the Jokers on the. Oh, uh, maybe I was gonna say maybe you saw the C on the Jokers, but then I realized I don't have a C on the Jokers. Yeah, that was a, that's a problem. That's a problem. What is that ship? That has like cargo on it. Alright, let's get out of here. Wow, wait a second. I don't want to get these people in the shot, but like. You never seen shit like that. It has cargo. Wait, is that how they ship my stuff for me from China? When did you ever order anything in China? <laughs> it's like he doesn't know me at all. <clears throat> I need gum. So when I so when I meet my future husbands again later, I, I smell good. All four of them. Like Joe and Mary. Oh, except Joe. He's in a committed relationship. Yeah, I thought he was. All right, well, that's it for now. Peace out, sauerkraut. Freaking Chandler. Of course, makes me find the sports court, which, by the way, it is so windy up here. My hat is literally about to blow off my head, and I'm about to blow off the ship. How beautiful it is, though. I'm really trying to blame the rockiness of the boat and the wind on his lack of basketball skills. Wow. Awful. On another note, look at how beautiful. How do I get out around in that area? Because I'm really trying to take some pics, though. It's so pretty. Sorry for how unsteady this is. I really do apologize. Oh, this is the jogging track. 
If you think I am jogging up here, you are out of your mind. If you think I'm jogging in general, you out of your mind. You know what I'm saying? All right, but seriously though, look at how pretty this is. is what is this called? The bow of the ship? Is that like a real thing or did I make that? Wait, this is like the back of the ship. Holy crap. Because we're moving the other way. Look how pretty. There's like some ships in the background. This is gorgeous. Seriously. I'm like scared to do anything so I'm scared all my stuff's gonna like fly away. First of all, my hair is looking a hot mess right now so I'm definitely gonna have to fix that. But oh my gosh, look at how hair right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow, life is so So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys what they gave us. So we were coming back to our room last night and our guy, his name is Emerson, he's pretty much like our little floor uh, like helper guy. Um, he said we have some souvenirs for you guys. So they gave us some stuff. Please don't mind how awful I look by the way. I'm really about to fix myself, I promise. Um, so they gave us these water bottles that glow in the dark. It says um, Impractical Jokers Cruise uh, 3 and then it just says February 6th to the 10th, 2019 Tampa to Great Stir K Bahamas. Um, and then on the back it says Hey Mustache. Um, so this is really, really cool. They gave us two of these, so these really nice water bottles. And then they also gave us some signed posters, which, oh boy. <laughs> I'm making a mess, guys. Um, so they gave us some signed posters, signed by all four of the guys. And it's just a special edition Impractical Jokers 3 Cruise poster. Um, like I said, that's autographed by all of the guys so this was really cool um i was not expecting to get these so i don't all, three of the guys? all four of the guys uh, i think i don't know i think i said four um i did not recall seeing anywhere on the website or anything that we were going to get like any type of special gift well i look really bad um but it was a surprise to me and it was really really nice that you know something like that happened so i was really excited to get that Everything has been just going amazingly, honestly, and I can't wait to show you guys all of the other fun adventures we're going to have these next few days. So we didn't even really show you guys our room, but we have a, uh, yeah, it's huge. Look at how big. Uh, we do have an obstructed view, ocean view though. I don't know why it's called obstructed, but... Is that what it's called? Obstructed or is it just called Ocean View? Oh, where did I get obstructed from? I don't know, but look, you can see the ocean out of our little window. So cute, but the room is really tiny, but it is a cruise, so what can you really expect? Anywho, we are getting ready now to go downstairs to go to our show. I'm so excited. And officially on this cruise, I have taken a picture with Joe as well as Q. So I've already met Murr, but I really would like to get a picture with him on the cruise as well. And then Sal, Sal is the only one I have not officially met yet. Uh, he's a tough nut to crack, so we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> All right, but anyway, seriously guys, um, we are having the time of our lives. I mean, it has just been so much fun so far and I don't want it to ever end. Like, we are just having the time of our lives. I cannot wait for cruise number quattro. Right? Oh no, those trace quattro. Yeah, quattro. Um, this is number three, so I'm really hoping that they do a number four. Oh, that's better lighting. There we go. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that they do a fourth cruise next year because I will definitely be there. Yes, we are watching Impractical Jokers in the background. There they are. <laughs> um, but seriously, this has been just so much fun so far. We still have so much left to do. Tomorrow we are doing uh, Wave Runner slash Jet Ski, and we're also swimming with the pigs uh, when we get to Great Stair K Bahamas. Um, this is just igniting not only my love of travel, but just my love of the Impractical Jokers or the Tenderloins. Um, I'm a huge comedy fan, and I am absolutely in love with the show Impractical Jokers, but also like 
them as people and as comics um, because that they do go so much further than the show um, and I'm just falling in love with their comedy and everything about them all over again and it's just making me remember how great they are so I'm having so much fun I know Chandler is as well and I cannot wait to show you guys the rest Hey, Chan. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Chan. Look, go get a picture with the guys. Where are you? Oh my gosh, Chan, you met Joe. Look, it's Joe, Chan. It's Joe Gatto. Oh my gosh, now you met Murr and Q and Sal. Sal's the only one we have not actually interacted with at all, and it's so annoying! Captain Fabelli? Is that what you're trying to say? Um, That's all Joe. All Joe. Let me, fun, let me French tuck this for the show. You want to French tuck it? You don't, have to, you don't have to unbutton your pants to French tuck. You do understand that, right? I feel like more, more precise. No, that's not right. It's not what? It's not what? No. It not just looks stupid. Well, how I look stupid? Because I unbuttoned my pants and tucked my shirt in. I look stupid now. Oh my gosh, did I ever even show you guys my OOTD? Got this cute hat at Target for seven beans. I look like a golfer. I look like a golfer? Yeah, and these are my shoes. I was gonna wear heels to the show, but not feeling it, so. This is the move, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, time to head down to the show. The door's already open like 15 minutes ago, but the show doesn't start till seven, so we're gonna go down now and get our seats. It's assigned seating, so we're not in too much of a rush, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, all right, peace out, sauerkraut. All right, we're at our show. Stage set up. I wonder who's gonna be on our side. Who's gonna sit over there? Tenderloin's video vault, too. I think that's something new they said. I don't really know. I'm bad at this. I'm excited though. I am legitimately dying from laughter. So we just finished seeing the Tenderloins show, which is like the assigned ticket, ticketed, ticketed show. Um, yes, by the way, our lights do flicker when we walk in. I don't know if that's just like a cruise thing or what, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so we just got finished seeing the Tenderloins show, which was our ticketed show. We had the Thursday night 7 p.m. show. There was two, uh, performances today, and then there was one last night, so we had, like, technically the second performance out of the three of them. Um, and, I mean, it was just so funny. Like, it was seriously hilarious. It was kind of similar to the Santiago Centos tour, which I saw, when did I see that, last March? Um, they showed a few of the same, like, videos. It was, like, the the creepy video, um, and then I think they also showed the eyebrow video, like, Murr's crazy eyebrows um, at that tour as well. Um, so it was a few of the same videos, but, like, it never, ever, ever fails to make me laugh. <laughs> like, honestly, it's so funny. I was, like, peeing myself and Chandler I'm sure can say the same because I heard him cracking up like honestly I never hear Chandler laugh as loud as when he's watching Impractical Jokers <laughs> like he just dies but um yeah so that was of course amazing and then besides the videos that they showed so they did show like what Chandler had, like five or six little videos I, th I think they showed like five or six videos um and then aside from that which there were some videos that were like never seen before um and joe said yesterday they were going to try something new so i'm assuming maybe that's what he was talking about but aside from that they were just kind of talking and just kind of pulling things from the air about the cruise and just i don't know it was just so funny and it's always just fun to watch them together because they are hilarious and it's been really cool to get to see them do different things by themselves so like to get to watch joe do traffic cam today and then get to watch Q doing his Space Monkeys podcast and then tomorrow night we'll get to I think it's tomorrow night uh, we'll get to see Murr do his book reading of his new book um, Sal who knows what Sal's doing um, <laughs> but it's cool to see them do like their own different little things um, to see their individual personalities but then also to see them you know come together to watch them perform together is always just so fun because that's what we all kind of know them for on the show 
Um, but yeah, so it was so much fun. Now it's around, what time is it? 8.20. Um, the show got started a little late, so it just got finished. Um, but we just got back to the room, obviously. And now we are going, well, at least I am going to take a nap because I am really tired and we do have a late night tonight because there's like a movie showing tonight and then a q a i'm very congested if you couldn't tell i don't know like what's up oh my god the ocean is like so oh the ocean freaks me out dude it's so like vast and just i can't wait to do dark. jet skis oh tomorrow i can't wait to swim with the pigs tomorrow i'm nervous because they said the jet ski i never drove a jet ski and they said the level of difficulty they go one two and three the level of difficulty is three so it's like easy medium hard and yeah medium hard I mean, because I guess you gotta get used to it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Is, is, it, like a, is it guided? It says it's like a tour, I think, kind of thing. Oh, so it's probably guided. Fine. It'll be fine. Kind of. um, probably not gonna just let you go on your own and say bye. I really hope not. <laughs> mm. uh, but yeah, so who knows? But that's just kind of a little rundown, a little update of what's been happening and what is going to be happening tonight. I feel so bad because it's literally just been me, like, telling you guys what we're doing and not actually showing you, but, like, Pretty sure they said like we can't really record in any of the live performances, right? Isn't that what it said? Pretty I don't know if they said anything. They didn't really officially say anything. It was just the space monkeys. The space monkeys. They said don't record. Yeah, but there was um, <sighs> there was something like on one of the papers or something that said no photo or or not like no flash photography or video in any of the live mm. performances. I guess you don't like spoil it for anybody else. I don't really know but that's the reason I've just been like too nervous to kind of whip out my camera and start recording and plus I just don't want to be disrespectful I'm just trying to live in in like the moment of just like watching what happens instead of like recording it and taking pictures and stuff um but yeah so that is that I'm gonna take a nap and then when we wake up we're gonna probably so go to the old. casino I'm so tired oh so yeah but this is the time to be tired because yeah. we got so much shit yeah, Ooh. we have stuff to do tonight, so this is the time for me to take yeah, my nap. This is your time. Yeah, so I'm going to take a nap. We're going to wake up, probably go to the casino for a bit, go to get some food, possibly. I'm not even hungry, but mm -hmm. I might be hungry later. Um, and then go to the movie screening and CQ again. So, yeah, it's a horror movie. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. I might have to just, like, bring headphones and, like, I mean, I'm just listen to music. There, not because I'm there. That's actually very accurate. Yeah, it's very accurate. <laughs> you can't go to a movie with me, but you can go to a movie with Q. I, it's not like Q's going to be there holding my hand. Yeah, but... so he Exactly. He's not going to be holding your hand when you're going. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just saying. I'm not there because Q's going to, like, protect me. I'm he's there because gonna he's going to be... Do, he's going to be doing a Q&A afterwards. Yeah, at 1 o'clock. Well, well... One thirty, what happened? One o'clock, and I don't want to get there that late because then we won't get good seats. All right. Anyway, I'm really tired and I have to pee, and so I'm gonna take a nap. Okay. You already know what it is. Peace out, sauerkraut. Yeah, stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs>